Hi, and welcome to the MyTel Visual Workflow Manager IVR Writing Port Sizing Wizard Overview Demonstration. Using the IVR Writing Port Sizing Wizard, you can approximate the number of ports you require for your IVR writing solution. The Port Sizing Wizard uses the following considerations to approximate your port requirements. IVR messaging, such as interactive menus, digit collection, writing, play message, and system management activities. RAD messaging, such as welcome greetings and in-queue messages. UPIC messages, which are updated position and queue messages that inform the callers of their position and queue, and callback messaging, such as callback requests and callback processing. Once you have completed the IVR writing port sizing wizard, you have the option to either save your results as a PDF or email the results to an email address. Let's take a look at how this works. We start in Internet Explorer by browsing to www.prairiefire.com slash IVR port sizer slash IVR writing port sizing wizard dot html. This launches the IVR writing port sizing wizard. After quickly reviewing the usage terms and conditions, users must agree before proceeding with the wizard. The main interface of the port sizing wizard has four sections. In the top right section of the wizard, there are Home, Messaging, RAD, UPIC, Callback, and Summary tabs. These are also available from a drop-down menu on the left side of the user interface. On the right section of the wizard, you'll notice the suggested port configuration. Messaging ports, callback ports, UPIC ports, RAD ports, the total number of ports, and the number of recommended servers. These are updated in real time as you make your way through the port sizing wizard. Before you begin using the port sizing wizard, there are three main options you must specify. Will you use recorded announcement device messages? Will you use updated position and queue messages? And will you use callbacks? For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll select all three options and click next. The first options that you must specify are your messaging requirements. There are three considerations for interactive menus. First, the average number of menus and submenus that callers will be presented with in your call flow, the average duration a caller spends in each of the call flow menus, and finally, the total number of busy hour calls that that call flow will encounter. Next, we must specify digit collection parameters. First, the average duration required for callers to enter the requested digits to the call flow, and second, the total number of busy hour calls that the call flow will encounter. Now, we must specify routing requirements. The first consideration is the average action duration for routing. The second is the number of busy hour calls to the routing system. Now, you must specify your play message activity requirements. First, we specify the average duration required for the message to play, and second, the total number of busy hour calls that the message will encounter. The final messaging consideration involves the system management feature of IVR routing. First, you must specify the duration a supervisor will spend accessing the system management function, and second, the total number of busy hour calls that system management will encounter. Now, we'll move on to specifying recorded announcement device options. But before we do that, notice that the suggested port configuration has been updated. Now let's take a look at RAD message requirements. First, there are three main functions on this screen, add row, delete row, and reset. For each RAD message, you must specify the number of busy hour calls, the average call length, the message duration, the phase time, the message type, a type 1 message, which is played when callers first enter the queue, for example, a welcome message, a type 2 message, which is an in-queue message that is repeated every 30 to 60 seconds, and finally, a type 3 message, which can be either used for front-end or in-queue messaging. The final value we must consider is the repeat time, which is only required for type 2 and type 3 messages. Now we'll add a new RAD message, in this example, a type 1 message, and you'll notice that the wizard validates the programming in real time. Now we'll add a second message, this time a type 2 message, and again you'll notice that the message programming is valid. You'll also notice that using dynamic RAD ports, which are ports shared between port groups, saves you in purchasing one port license based on this example. The next consideration is updated position in queue, or UPIC messaging. The UPIC requirements window uses the same controls as the RAD messaging window. For each UPIC message, you must specify the number of busy hour calls, the average call length, the message duration, the phase time, the repeat time, 
The max calls to tap, which is the number of callers in queue that can simultaneously connect to an updated position in queue message, and the number of agents. Now, let's add an updated position in queue message. Again, the message is validated in real time, and you will notice that the message we just added is valid. The final consideration is callback processing. First, we'll look at callback requests. The first consideration is the average time it takes for a caller to submit a callback request to the IVR system. The second is the total number of busy hour calls that the callback request will encounter. Next up is callback processing. Visual Workflow Manager uses a port to reserve a place in queue for a callback request, which will then be handled by an agent once they are available. First, you must provide a value for the average duration for callback processing, and second, the total number of busy hour calls to callback processing. When we click Next, the wizard is complete, and we come to the summary screen of the IVR writing port sizing wizard. You now have two options either emailing the report to a recipient or saving the results as a PDF. But before we do that, notice that the suggested port configuration is now complete. 99 messaging ports, 28 callback ports, 2 UPIC ports, 2 RAD ports, for a total number of 131 ports spread across 2 IVR writing servers. Now we'll specify the customer, site name, and email address. We can email the summary directly to a customer or we can save it to our desktop. Now let's take a look at the IVR Writing Port Sizing Wizard PDF Summary. The report lists the date and time that the wizard was completed, the company name and email address, the total number of ports suggested by the wizard, and then all of the messaging, callback, UPIC, and RAD port details that have been specified during the wizard. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more about Mitel IVR Routing and the Visual Workflow Manager application, visit mitel.com.